guys and welcome back to my channel. So first things first, happy Halloween and as you can see I have put some effort in and decided to dress up as a so-called scientist according to the internet. Apparently this is what we wear but maybe instead of a mad scientist I'm a mad geologist. Makes a bit more sense for me but um, I thought I would do a Halloween video for you guys and I am, it's not just the outfit, I'm actually sorting my fossil table out a little bit so it's a bit too busy at the moment. There's a lot of fossils that need work, but there's a lot of fossils that I've put on this table that are ready to go inside the house. They don't need any prep to them. So today I'm going to be sorting out some of the smaller fossils and putting them into what looks like, it sort of looks like a scientist test tube or some sort of potion jar. Um, but I've already put a few in. So I'm mainly putting belemnites and ammonites into this jar, but it's just something to fill up and then it can look nice in the house um, and it'll free up hopefully a little bit of space um, so I can work on the bigger, bigger fossils that need some work on this table. But um, so the jar just looks like this. I got this for a pound from a charity shop, so it doesn't matter that it's going to get completely scratched long term, but um, hopefully if I put them in carefully they won't scratch it too badly. But that being said, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to start with the top shelf here um, and just pick up some of the, you know, fragments of ammonites and bits and bobs that I've collected from my fossil hunting trips but didn't really know what to do with so I've just shoved them on the shelf. Um, just because this shelf, ideally, I want to move it because I need the whole tabletop to prepare my bigger fossils because um, some of them get rather large. So I'll show you what I'm collecting in a minute. Right, so these are the types of things I want to put in the jars. So this is a fragment of a whirl of an ammonite. So it's been pretty sea-worn, it's probably rolled around the, like, foreshore quite a lot, around the other pebbles. So it's become, it's acted like a pebble, which is why it's a bit rounded, but you can still see the ribbing on it. Um, so that can carefully go in my jar. I don't want to, like, drop one in and it shatter the jar because that would just that would be devastating. So we have other whirls here and you can see the difference in whirl shapes and sizes and the different ribs. Obviously the, this is very worn as well but it shows you the different species and I just love the way they look when they're naturally like sea worn. I think they have so much character like that. So I have quite a few. This one, this isn't an ammonite so you can see the ribbing on it but it's a shell. So I believe this is a bivalve. I always get bivalves and brachiopods mixed up, but it's a shell nonetheless, and it's one of those. Um, but again, that can go in my jar. This is just for sort of the nice pebbly type stuff. So things that, you know, the sea has naturally worn for me, but I, don't, I couldn't leave it on the beach because if I didn't take it, it would have just turned to sort of sand. So you can see this one as well. And this is an, you can, tell this is an Amalfius ammonite, so this is found along the Jurassic coast because if you look at the edging, it sort of reminds me of a Cornish pasty and that's how I always identify Amalfius is because of that edge ribbing. Don't know if you guys will ever use that information but now you know. So I literally have loads more wells here. Um, so some of them are a lot more worn than others. It must be weird for you guys seeing these gloves, it's kind of fun to wear them. They're very, very e extra laboratory gloves, but they came with the costume, so why not? So here's another Amalfius piece. You can see the edging, edging detailing there. So now if you ever see an ammonite with that edging that looks, you'll just think of pasties and be like, Amalfius. It's probably not that easy to link the two, but it might be. So I'm just going to pop those into my jar. But they're quite big ones already, it's starting to fill up. So that's those ones, now I'm just thinking what else to put into it. Because there's a few that I want to clean up a little bit before they go in the jar, but long term they go in the jar. Right, let's see what's in my mushroom punnet. Definitely not mushrooms. So there's some bigger ammonites like this, but this isn't sort of jar type stuff. That's stuff that I need to, need to think about what to do. Oh, and this is, that's volcanic not fossiliferous but that's fine another one that's slightly too large to go in but it's got another ammonite down the bottom I just have so many fossils it's a joke okay so here's a belemnite so it's a nice pointy one so that can go in the gel and then I'm thinking of putting little ammonites like this I don't know how to sh stop focusing on my face camera there we go can you see it it's like a tiny little 
Find your little ammonite. There we go. So little ones like that. Maybe long term I'll put them in their own little trays so when people come around my house they can have a fossil. But um, for now they can go in that jar just to save me some space. So I think the rest of stuff in here, oh that one can go in. So that's like a pebbly one. Just like that. And then I think the rest are pretty much need to stay. Um, I literally just have pots and pots of random stuff all around this room. Oh, so here there's lots of little bits and bobs. God, if I tip this out onto the floor, it's going to be a nightmare. Um, so again, you've got like little ammonite whirls that I found along the Jurassic Coast. Stop focusing on my face. Just like that. So that can go in the jar. I don't want to put some of the really, really small stuff in just because it'll just get lost. Oh, well, what else am I going to do with it? I should, I should, shouldn't I? So I'm talking about really tiny, tiny ammonite whirls focus like this one so we're gonna drop these ones in as well so I have quite a few tiny baby whirls oh <laughs> these gloves are now making it hard to pick up the tiny ones <laughs> just like this so good tiny tiny baby one so I'll pop that in as well so I think that's all I'll show you guys today if you enjoyed seeing all my random bits and bobs do let me know, I'm sure I can make plenty of these types of videos showing you some of the stuff I've found. Um, but to show you, like, I've not really filled it much yet, have I? <laughs> There's still plenty of space to go, but it does get a bit narrower. But we've made a start. This can now go sit in my room and there's a bit more space freed on my table which I will not fill instantly I'm gonna try and process some of it before I do my next fossil hunting trip so um, don't hold me to that but I'm gonna try but yep that's all I got for you guys today and thank you so much for watching I really do hope you enjoyed I'll link all my social media in the description box below please like and subscribe for more and hopefully I'll see you next time thanks for watching